track and field fans, Jamaicans, British, Americans, Canadians, Swiss, Polish, everybody, run, come join, uh, uh, pull a chair and hear this reasoning. And now, Richard, what's up, man? Thank you for joining me. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Good to be here on the eve, or almost on the eve of those World Indoor Championships. It's going to be a bumper year, a bonanza year for athletics. So, um, can't wait to kick things off. And um, things been kicking off. Um, NC Championships, Carifta, a whole heap of things yes. on. But um, rise up on those Serbia and Belgrade awaits. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to get into this Belgrade discussion, right? So, we're going to be doing a series of previews. So, let's start with what um, NBC Sports describes as the main event, the clash of the Titans, um, the 60 meters men. Um, personally, from like a Jamaican perspective, we don't have any major contenders in this race, but it is billed as a clash between the Olympic champion and Christian Coleman, right? Um, we're going to look at some of these world leading times. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you will see the world lead for the 60 meters men in 2022 all right at the top we have terence jones from the bahamas and he clocked a time of 6.45 which he shares with chris coleman of the united states um the thing with that though is terence jones i don't think terence jones will be at the world indoors the oh is that a fact the i think so from the news that i saw i think the bahamas is a three-member team all female i know shawnee um miller is on the team and two other females so, yeah she were um yeah i heard line somebody else i don't remember the, i read the news probably this morning so um so christian coleman tied for the world lead would probably be going in as the fastest runner at the actual meet right he's followed by michael williams with 6.48 who's tied with marvin bracy another strong contender with 6.48 as well and then right. 6.49 in fifth is mark marcel jacobs right and followed by that is trayvon bommel at 6.50 and Devante burnett with the same thing um yes going into this one now i think we can't just look at it in my opinion i don't think it's a clash between quotes just solely coleman and marcel jacobs i think there are strong contenders oh yeah sir. yeah man some name, uh, names most of name, them are American. names primo <laughs> um i you look at the, the difference between the times you see a trayvon brummel in there a seasoned campaigner probably still smitten from last year at the Olympics. Um, Marvin Bracey has been really impressive. Um, Michael Williams is not far behind um, Coleman either with a 6.48. You know what I mean? And both of them have been faster than uh, Marcel Jacobs. So it, in my opinion, it is close. What do you say, Mr. Expert? I'm going to beg to differ. The 16 meters explosive extremely explosive event where yeah. thousands of a second come into play and really went to it i'm looking for the experience of christian coleman versus the okay. new young buck in marcel jacobs um potentially for the party i don't think that marvin marvin brave is brace is probably the outside bet i think to yeah. um put a step on them and maybe trevor and brother bromel if he's if he's indeed selected i think yeah. that when it comes down to it christian coleman hungary has the championship pedigree and marcel jacobs will represent the main so threat so i think it's going to be a two two horse race for gold yeah but you know 60 meters a, a poor start a dq god forbid anything can happen so uh yeah. we can't, can't take anything for granted so you're saying of all the contenders there those two men have the most what, explosive start or are more, almost suited for that short shorter sprint definitely christian coleman just trying to understand the reasoning 
Well, Christian Coleman is ridiculous out of the blocks. He's he's yeah. like a, a footballer, and he ridiculously far. Yeah. And the thing is, he, he, the thing is, he accelerates with pace and power and keeps yeah, yeah. getting pretty. He, he keeps going. He keeps, and he is, you know, after the Olympic disappointment, I think he'll be out for uh, revenge. Yeah. Um, he'll have a point to prove. He'll have a both point. Both of them have had their, himself, have had their controversies oh, as well. Course. So I guess both of yes, yeah. I guess both of them will have something to prove. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Uh, Marvin Bracey and the others, okay. they've won any of the big titles as yet, and this is going to be a big title, especially yeah. in World Championship year. This is going to be a case of bragging rights. Sixty meters, not a hundred. But bragging rights yeah. uh, and um, that psychological edge will definitely be yeah. um, up for grabs. Okay, so you say it's a two horse race for the goal. Any medal predictions in that one, my my, my boss? And guys, look out for the medal prediction yeah. episode where we go over the medal predictions for Jamaica. I'd love to do one for Great Britain, but it's up to the local, um, our resident <laughs> expert to compile these lists. So we're waiting on him. You hear that, sir? Um, at all. I've, so yeah. I've, I've compiled the list for ja, I've come out, yeah. compiled the yeah. list for Britain and um the, both those yeah. nations will actually be looking at um, um medals uh, and finalists but in this I see you're pushing me you're pushing me for yeah. a verdict in this 60 meters uh sprint I'm gonna yeah. go if there's no this DQs if there's no DQs I'm going Christian yeah. Coleman to triumph maybe in a world yes. leading time uh marcel yeah. jacobs hot on his heels he's a barrel yeah. of a man um and he seems to yeah. fear no one beautiful very strong powerful runner uh and if christian yeah. misses a beat marcel yeah. is the man to, to to step in and marvin bracy uh would complete two americans on the podium uh for a bronze okay. if he can hold himself together that's what so, I so, to... so, the, so the italian should split both the americans he's good enough to split them he's good enough to split them whether yeah. he does or not we will see but um he's not the olympic champion for nothing a very yeah. powerful and deceptively fast individual you yeah. trust me on that yeah yeah all right so we're going to leave it there mr expert has spoken all right yes, guys, so, what's so, about you you're gonna call out something mr prima mr prima um, we want I can't, to, I can't, to be honest um, with you why i haven't said anything is because i agree with you I, I do think it's a close race. Um, I think it's I think it's a kind of race where a mistake. That's the thing about the indoors even more than anywhere else, with, with especially in the shorter sprints. A mistake can change everything. You know what I mean? A, 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 a not the best start and you, it, it's not enough room to catch up. That's why I said anything can happen. All right, guys, we're going to leave that one there um richard i freeze up a little bit but we want to thank him for the input as well as let us know what you think in the comment section because this will be a hotly contested event um one of the main events i don't think it's probably the solo main event but it's one of the main events so just drop some predictions i remember like and subscribe and go over to richard's channel and show him some support richard stevens bless up my brother one love one love every time